I'm going to do a 2.8 millimeter incision. As I told in the morning, I'd start from the anterior limbal vascular arcade and then go perpendicular, I'm sorry, parallel to the surface of the iris. Iris could have. Whatever I'm using today is all Apasami machines, microscope. I'm using the Galaxy Leo machine. I'm using the Helon version of Apaswami, which is called the Koi Whisk. Light parangya. Yeah. The La Galaxy machine is the new kit on the block. Can you center it a bit? Sorry. It's not properly centered. It's okay now? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. I'm using the True Glow microscope. <laughs> Appa Sami has got almost everything with them, starting from Koi Whisk. Supra whisk, which is uh, equivalent to the viscoat. <coughs> Since I'm putting in focus, I'm making sure the rexus is about five millimeter. You able to see the wave? Can you keep the microscope view, please? Microscope view. Please, internal camera, ma. Are you able to see the microscope view now? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. I want you to see this orbit handpiece here. Can you show this handpiece here? This is the world's lightest handpiece. You can actually do the surgery with your little finger. This is called the orbit handpiece. It's got longitudinal as well as transverse FACO. And uh, this Leo machine, which I'm using regularly, gobbles up even hardest of the cataracts with great ease. And the orbit cool mode is something which is uh, a very very unique feature of this uh, particular machine. Yeah. I just make a small trench there, and then I switch over to the FACO two settings. I'm using my chopper. It's a fairly hard cataract. Is it focused well? Yeah, it's fine. You can see how my chopper works. I'm going to switch over to the pulse. And another feature is the occlusion micro pulse, which is a very special feature of this particular mission. Cornea, please.
echo is not working the no, the echo is not working I'm using about 450 millimeters of vacuum. You can see the chamber stability and the fallability is really fantastic in this machine. The uh, handpiece is on the orbit cool mode. The orbit cool mode gives very low FACO energy and you can have the ascending order of the duty cycle. As you know, the duty cycle is the on plus off time divided by the on time, second instrument. Could Okay. So the nucleus is out now. It has a fairly dense cataract, but you can see the way in which uh, the whole thing was gobbled up. Light paringa ya. Kunchi kila paringa. Yeah. I use a coaxial irrigation aspiration always with a curved instrument, curved tip, I'm sorry. Can I have a fine focus down a little? Capsule polish. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to implant a in-focus lens. We were talking about the info lens, Nivian was talking about it. Light parang. Yes. The in-focus lens has got a central area of about 1.3 millimeter with an add of 3.5. Beyond that is the re refractive aspheric element which is responsible for the intermediate and the distant vision. And central area is responsible for the near vision. This is a very unique model and because it doesn't have any rings, there is absolutely no glare or any photic phenomenon. Which, which is absent absolutely with this machine, with this uh, lens. We have used more than almost uh, 300 lenses now in focus in the past two years. And we have also published a study, Nivian has uh, published a study, which we were also part of it, with excellent results. More importantly, the contrast vision is very good because it is aspheric. Number one, it's also a blue blocker. Number two, it's got a square edge. The incidence of PCO is very less. And because it doesn't have rings, the photic phenomenon, which is a problem 
in all these other lenses which has got rings. As long as you have rings, even the symphony lenses patients complain of glare halos, of course much less when compared to the regular multifocal lenses. Focus down. Are these preloaded just like the super afocal lenses? No, no, it's Do not preloaded. It's not preloaded. We have to load it in the. Uh, they have an injector. Because there is little of stromal, uh, stromal hydration there, I'm not able to see the subincision area very clearly. As you see that the lens automatically centers in the bag, and you have to make sure that the Purkinje image is right in the center. Of course, removal of the viscoelastic is very critical from underneath the lens as well in all the patients whether it's a toric or a multifocal I spend enough time underneath the lens as you can see here making sure that I remove all the viscoelastic You can see the central area, it's a slight dip on the optic, which is a unique feature of this lens. The intermediate vision is very good. The near vision is because of the add of 3.5, it is fantastic. And more importantly, the contrast sensitivity is very good and the photic phenomenon are almost nil. Light burn here. That's the end of the surgery. I see we could do. I always give a intracameral bigger mox. I don't want air. Light burn here. How do you have there? Up there, up there, up there. Any questions from Dr. from the panel? There's a nice surgery. Sir, what is the ad here? 3.5. The central zone. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it is just 1.3 millimeter. 1.3 millimeter. Okay. So, it's got an add of 3.5. I always make it a little tight. You can see here the tightness is very important. And I always ask the patient whether in topical anesthesia, whether they are able to see the light. And check the wound integrity, both by pressing a Where do you place this actually uh, as a bifocal or a multifocal lens? This is the extended depth of vision lens. It off. It's an extended depth of vision lens. It's not a bifocal, it's not a multifocal, it's not a trifocal. 
it is the external depth of vision lens only difference between symphony and this is that uh, it doesn't have rings and symphony is not very good for near vision unless you do micro mono vision and the patient still complain of the photic phenomenon in symphony okay that's the end of surgery thank you very much <laughs> any questions only applause no question sir so in my opinion the in focus is the only lens which is in focus all other lenses are out focus it's a very good lens we have done a, st a study very nice study and uh, it's a really a fantastic lens and we have to give it to appa sami because the microscope everything whatever i use today is all appa sami products including the leo machine which is a fantastic machine and the the vitrectomy machine is also coming into the play that is the robo venturi system it's called this is the peristaltic machine the robo venturi which is also coming which can be used for both for phaco emulsification as well as for the vitrectomy which is similar to the turbo wit with of course additional features in the robo venturi this is the leo galaxy which i used just now peristaltic machine a really fantastic machine it is and the microscope the true glow microscope the brilliant advent microscope these are the two microscopes which apasami the higher end microscope they have a very really very really fantastic coaxial illumination and the brightness everything is superb thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity i would like to thank dr ram murthy chitra shreyas and geetan shah for the wonderful opportunity given to me a lovely setup here